I am here to bring you an awesome story, More Bears by Ken Nesbitt, with special permission to read by Source Books. Hope you enjoy. Once upon a time, there was a story. This story was a lovely story with absolutely no bears in it. Not a single bear anywhere. Then one day, more bears! What? Who said that? The author of the story looked around the room, wondering where those voices had come from. Were those the voices of children shouting? Then he went back to writing. As I was saying, this story had absolutely no bears at all. The author was very certain about that. More bears! The author tried very, very hard to ignore the children who thought that the story ought to have... More bears! Fine, the story had a bear. It was a cute little baby bear strolling through the book looking for... More bears! Now hold on a second. The author of this story knew exactly how many bears it should have, and the author insisted there should only be... More bears! Two bears. There. Happy now? An adorable, cuddly, waddly little baby bear named Mr. Fluffy and his mama bear Stella, who always wore a yellow hat. Now it happens that Stella and Mr. Fluffy, like all bears, were especially fond of... More bears! More bears, of course. The author was just thinking that. The author was thinking that just to keep everybody happy, this story should have a papa bear whose name, by the way, was Captain Picklehead and a bear named Uncle Sheldon, who was bald and loved to play the ukulele. Now, where were we? Ah, uh, yes. More bears! Stop that! How many bears do you want in this story? Do you really want to hear about Bobcat Sam, the bear who rode a pony, and Admiral Haversham, the English dancing bear, and Excellent Steve, the bear who just wanted to surf? You do? Why didn't you say so? In that case, the author suddenly decided that that's what the story really needed was more bears. Yes, 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 more bears. So the author added Astro Bear, who, by the way, was Bulgarian and always kept a hamster in his pocket, just in case. And then the author put in three more bears named Lester, Chester, Esther, and Floyd. Wait, that's four. Oh, well, four is okay. Because after all, this story really needed more bears. It needed a bear named Lucky Eddie who juggled carrots. And a bear named Elbow who wasn't very smart and always wore his underpants on the outside of his regular pants. And a bear named One, Two, Three, which even the author thought was a strange name for a bear. And since this probably wasn't enough, the author added even more bears. The author added six bears on tiny pink bicycles, two bears reading comic books, one bear flying across the page in a cape and a lederhosen, three more bears swinging through the trees and the vines, a bear in a yellow submarine, several bears making cupcakes, and an entire team of firefighting bears running across the page with hoses, ladders, and party balloons. Whew. There were bears hanging from the top of the page, bears sleeping in the corners, and bears standing on top of other bears. There were so many bears in the story that they couldn't all fit on the pages. It was crowded, too crowded, so crowded that some bears started pushing other bears off the page and arguing, which made the author grumpy. And when authors get grumpy, they start rewriting, changing the story. In fact, this author was so grumpy, he told the bears to leave. And they did. After all, this was the author's story. They walked off the page, they rode off the page, they swung, surfed, danced, climbed, ran, and even somersaulted off the page. At last, all the bears were gone, and often the author smiled. Finally, the author had a story with no bears in it. A lovely story, with not a single bear anywhere. Just the way the author wanted it. Because you see, the author was quite certain that this story should have absolutely more chickens. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed my story. It is definitely one of the funniest stories that I know to read for story time, and it always makes me laugh. 
and I miss you guys. Can't wait to see you soon. Make sure you sign up for the Summer Reading Club. It has started. Check out our Facebook page or check out our website and get all the information. We got some great prizes for you, so check it out. Bye, guys.